Greg Shoemaker, Tri-State Football. I'm here at Lakota East with head coach John Kitten. And John, first year here, 11th year as a head coach, but uh, I want to ask you first of all, before we start everything, uh, four different states you've coached in, and you know, when you when you go to a new school like that, a new area, how important is it just to, to focus on your team and not worry about like uh, the other teams in the league? I mean, this is a great league that you're in, but what kind of focus do you put primarily on team first? I think there's a balance there, right? Like mm -hmm. I got to learn, you know, what our what our conference is like and, and, and all that stuff. I know that it's a really good conference. I got to see it for four years when I lived here. So I know how good it is. And I got to go out to football games and, and I've, you know, I've seen things. I've followed it from afar. I know. I know the success that teams have had in our in our conference uh, recently and stuff like that. But you're right. It's it's a lot about focusing on our team. You know, we've done a few seven on sevens just to get our get our kids out and uh, and be out and see how they handle being around other people. But more more importantly, we want to be here and teach them and, and spend time with them and get to know them and, and uh, learn who who they are as, as people and let them know who we are as people. So that is the big focus. You know, I look at your defense today. I was watching them a little bit. They seem like they're going to get after it. I was, I was talking to your son, Jameis, and I was like, say, hey, he was running around a little bit back there for himself at quarterback. But uh, I, I sort of I was sort of impressed. Talk about those guys on that side of the ball. Yeah, I mean, well, it starts with our, our defense coordinator, Rodney Heath, and, and uh, his right-hand guy, Darren Chenault, who's, you know, as we know, just came off of uh, – kidney transplant surgery and then the staff that they put together with Colby Webb and Jim Simone is the guy who's been here and done that for a long time and uh, you know they've done a great job of teaching football and, uh, and, and we really think that you know we're going to be able to put those guys in positions to just turn them loose and that's really the, the whole key and the good thing is I got to stand on that side today as I was kind of the referee quote unquote and uh, the great thing I was hearing was just the communication happening with them, and knowing down in distance, thinking about football, you know what's coming, how how can we how can we defend it? So yeah, I think it's, it's uh, we got a good chance to you know to do some things with them. When you look at the uh, there weren't a lot of returning lettermen on this team. Does that make it easier for you that you know you don't have old dogs to teach new tricks to? Does it make it easier when you have a a, a young raw group, a green group like this? Yeah, I don't know if it makes it easier. Um, but you know, I've, I've done it all, taking over programs that have you know a ton of returners and then some that don't. But um, yeah, I'm just excited about the kids that are here, and uh, we have kids that seem to really love football and love the process of it, and so that makes it fun. You know, your offense, uh, your your son Jamison is the quarterback, but. Uh... Talk about a little bit about what this offense is going to look like. I mean, it looks like you got a lot of guys you were shuffling in and out of there, a couple of big tight ends, and, and you were spreading them out, bringing them in to, to sit on the end of the line. But talk about what we can expect from that. Yeah, side offensively, that's what we are. We're a multiple personnel, multiple formation, multiple tempo team. And uh, people throw around, are you a spread team? Are you, you know, a, a pro style team? We're a whatever's in the hallways and gives us a chance to be a successful team. That's what we are. And uh, so we're going to try to put the best 11 out there all the time. It starts with our offensive line. And uh, those guys have been really uh, accepting of the challenge of what that means and, and going through the process of, um, you know, growing and learning different, a different brand of football, I guess. I want to ask you one last question, a little off the football subject, but you got a large family, a lot of kids and a lot of grandkids. And uh, being that you're back here in Ohio now, is, uh, Talk about work-life balance and, and uh, how, how you keep that going. Yeah, well, that's that's always been the key. I've said that since before I started coaching. I'm never going to sacrifice my family for you know high school football. I won't do it. Um, but the great thing is my family is is uh, entrenched in what we do. It's a, it really is a family mission for us to do together. We enjoy it. Um, and, and so, you know, the balance part of it is, is pretty easy because my wife – She's not going to allow me to get out of balance. There you go. John Kitten, the head coach of the Lakota East Thunderhawks. Thank you.